Anya. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by and I would love it if you consider subscribing. What we're doing today is we are going to do some DIYs for fall that look very high end but do not cost a whole lot of money. So you all have been waiting for DIYs so I'm going to be doing some today. I'm really excited to show you these little DIYs for fall, like I said, that look high end, but they don't break the bank. Okay, for our first fall DIY, we're going to be using some drop cloth. I picked this up at Harbor Freight. You get a bunch of it, and I picked it up, I don't know, months and months ago when I did that other DIY I did with a drop cloth. Maybe it was close to a year ago now, but it doesn't cost a lot and you get a ton, okay? And then I just had Melvin, we have some of this really thin plywood laying around the house, had him cut it for me. And this is eight and three fourths wide by 11 and three fourths tall, okay? And the reason I had him cut that length was because I wanted a certain, um, I wanted it to go over this frame that I picked up at Hobby Lobby, okay? So it just depends on what size frame you have as to what you do, all right? So that's why I wanted mine the size that it was, okay? First of all, I think what I'm going to do is glue this on this board first, okay? just so I can make sure that I have a nice idea of where I want everything in my canvas, all right? Now you could use um, staples if you wanted. You could use, um, I thought about using double-sided tape, but I think I'm just gonna use my Beacon Fabric Tack um, that I use for my junk journals. It works really well, so that's what I'm going to do. It's great for wood, so I'm just going to put this right along through here. To me, it has a smell though, I will tell you that. And I'm gonna pull it really taut and just press this down, but it really does secure. Like if you're doing um, a cover, like I do interactive junk journals every Tuesday and the rest of the time I do decorate with me or um, hauls or DIYs like this, but it really holds covers on junk journals quite nicely, okay? So you can see I've got that one on. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing here. And just pull it nice and taut and it's not going to go anywhere, all right? All right, now we're gonna take this and I'm just gonna fold this in. I need to cut some of this corner off though so it's not so thick to go in my um, frame, okay? cut this off, but this I think is going to give us such a beautiful high-end, almost boutique looking um, DIY. And it's very easy to do. Just hold this. Hope everyone is doing well. We're just having some wind from that storm. Nothing like South Florida. Oh, breaks my heart. Okay. Now, this is what we have. See that? That's so easy to do. 
It's not even funny. Okay, what I'm going to be doing next is I want to take my IOD sprig stamps. You could use any stamps that you have. I just want to use these IOD stamps. I love them. And I'm going to put this right like this, and I think it gives it such a sweet look. Now, before you use any stamp, you're supposed to take a sandpaper and just lightly scuff the back so it'll adhere. But since I've used these before, I don't have to do that, all right? Now, I want to take this and set this right in here to make sure that this is where I want it. And it is right here is where I want them just like that, okay? Now, I was going to use some IOD ink, but I kind of like this one that I bought at Hobby Lobby. It's Ranger Archival Ink. It's acid-free and it's in coffee. And I think it's gonna give us a really pretty look, okay? So what I'm going to do, just get this and you can see if it's kind of dark I'm sorry um, some of our storm shutters are still up because Melvin hasn't had a time to take them off yet so if you can't see well that's what it is so I'm gonna make sure that I get this on there really well And it's best to always lay your stamp flat when you're stamping it. Okay, and I'm out of baby wipes. Oh, can't believe it. Okay, now I'm just going to put this. And once I set it down, I'm committed. I'm gonna hold it with one hand and then just touch everything on here don't push real hard and you don't want to shift, but you want that image to come through. And since this is like um, fabric like drop cloth, I'm gonna leave it on here just a little bit longer because I wanna make sure it's coming in contact and really soaking in to that, okay? Now we're going to lift it. See how cute that is? It's just enough, I think, okay? Now we're going to do this one. And the sprig stamp has a bunch of different um, little buds and flowers and things. It has wheat and different flowers. I'm only using three of them and I cut them apart. There's tons of them on it. we make contact we don't shift keep one hand to keep it on the image but if you would see this out in a boutique you would really pay a lot of money to me it's just simple um, I saw the IOD sisters make a pillow this is what gave me the idea and they use more than this, and they use their turmeric ink. And I have that ink, but I decided I really like this coffee color. 
and uh, see how pretty that is? Okay, then we just have to do this one. But anyway, they did a bunch of them out through there and they wrote Hello Fall on the bottom. And I thought that was really cute, but I thought, oh, I want to do this and put it in a frame. When I was at Hobby Lobby and I saw 50% off, I was like, yes, that's what I want to do. So I was glad about that. So that's where my inspiration came from this. It was from the sisters, okay? All right, and then I'm gonna put this one right there, not going to shift. And I love all the detail. And these, like they said, these sprig stamps are perfect even for fall. And I may not have thought of using them for fall, but it's a great idea. I just, I think it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be a very subtle nod to fall without being over the top. Very farmhouse, very French country, okay? So that is what we're getting so far. Now, I would heat set this. Um, so it, you know, you won't have any problems with it, but I'm not going to heat set mine because I've already glued mine on here, all right? So now I'm just going to flip this frame over. And now I would um, either, if you know you're not gonna wanna take this out, I would glue it in or I would use, um, mini like little staples or something or fix it somewhere so it won't come out but this is what we have is that not adorable i love that it's just a simple nod to fall Okay, for our second uh, little fall DIY that is very farmhouse French country, we're going to use a drop cloth again. And I'll show you, I made this yesterday. I had never done this before. And I thought, well, let me just see what I can do. And I used this stamp that I got off of Amazon in a big pack of stamps. And I'll link it below if I can find it. I don't even know if it's still available. I've had it for about two years. Some of you bought it when I showed it before, but I used it and I just put it all over in random areas in this and I loved it. And I did a gather stitch. Many of you know I don't sew, but I actually managed to do that. And then I just put a cork in the top of this that I picked up from Michael's. I've had it about a year and a half. And I tied this around to hide the top and I just stamped an R on one of these little plastic um, cork little pieces. And I love it. I think it is so adorable. It's very sweet, all right? So for this one, I just took a Dollar Tree charger, turned it upside down, traced around the edge, left a little bit of room and that's how I got the pattern for this. But for this one, I laid that charger down and I went out about a good two inches all the way around because I wanted a larger one. Now, if I wanted, I could do this just like the others without any problem. Or I could maybe put something like this on here and stamp some words. I think that would probably be really pretty or this stencil, I think it came with the leaf ones. Like I said, I got a bunch. I could just put Farm Fresh, and then I could put just the pumpkins, and then Pumpkin Patch, or I could just do this anyway all over it. So I don't know, I haven't decided exactly what I want to do yet. Um, I really like that leaf, I think it's very pretty, but, I think this would be really pretty too, but it doesn't really look like fall. This does, but 
I don't know. I think I'm going to go back with the leaves just because I love it so much. Okay, I, like I said, I'm going to do the leaves. I think it'll be really pretty. And this is what I used yesterday, just the Apple Barrel Black Matte Acrylic. You could use chalk paint if you wanted. I'm just not going to. And I have tons of brushes, but I thought I would try these Dollar Tree brushes. And you can see I used this one and it worked really nicely. So that's what I'm going to do, okay? So I'm just going to find a place right here, brush off my ink. And then just make sure it's not a whole lot on there. And I'm just going to start going like this. I didn't have any bleed through. I didn't have any problems at all. I did not iron my um, drop cloth. I didn't wash these. I washed some and that turned out, I think, not to be a good idea. So it's up to you whether you wash them or not. I'm not going to wash them anymore. And look at that, how beautiful that is. This is so easy, okay? And then you just start going around and putting stuff where you think you want it. And make sure you get it off of your brush a lot. You could make a pillowcase like this. You could make what I really think would be cute too, is you could have a pillowcase, you could do your own tea towels, you could do your own, um, and make sure you don't have any of this on your hand. <laughs> like I just did. I'll put something over that to hide it. Um, placemats, I think placemats would be gorgeous like that. Okay, and then I think I'll put this one right here. Just make sure you wipe this off really well. And if it gets darker in places, I had a few that did that and it didn't bother me because I really liked the effect that it gave. This is so easy to do. And then if you wanted, you could also stamp something on here, but you're not, I mean, it, it's going to be gathered. So, but look at that, how cute that is. So easy to make beautiful, customized little projects. Uh, I think I'm going to go with this large one right here to try to get rid of that where I had it on my finger. You could do multiple colors if you wanted. I think that would probably give you a good effect. But I wanted to just do this with the black but look how pretty that is. It's so easy to do. And you're really not gonna see that little smudge from my finger, as you see my fingers are a mess. Then I think I'll put this one going this way. You just put them different ways. Uh, and you don't have to put them all. You can put half of it, which gives it a good effect because you're just gonna really see it very um, haphazardly. Now this one's gonna be a little bit darker, but that's all right. put one here and I think that's gonna do it and then we'll see if we want to put any um, 
like letter stamps. I mean, like, um, like almost like writing on it. I don't know. Every time I say I'm going to, then I decide not to. But I think it would be pretty. Okay. I think I need something there. It doesn't have to be a complete leaf. I think I'll just do it like that. See, that's the beauty of it. You don't have to have it all over. Okay, this is how it's turned out. I don't think I'm gonna put any writing on it. I would heat set it, but can you imagine this as a drop cloth, tablecloth, placemat, napkins, whatever. I mean, you could even upholster um, a little chair, like a, a ottoman with this, a pillows. It, the sky is the limit with this stuff. I love it. Okay, the other time I use floss, but I don't think I'm going to have enough floss to go all the way around this. I might, we'll try it. Okay, so I'm just gonna start gathering, doing a little gather stitch. I'm gonna gather it in pretty, pretty far because I want to have something to come up around that pumpkin. I didn't do that the last time. I took it right to the edge. And to me, as long as it works, that's the main thing, okay? And you really should heat set this, but since I'm not going to wash this or anything, I'm really not gonna worry about it. And I probably need to take closer stitches. It's just gonna be so cute. Oh. And those of you that are really good sewers, well, I know I've got the wrong needle, but it works. <laughs> I use this for my junk journal to sew the cover in, so it's thicker, it's heavier, it doesn't seem to bother my hand as much. You can see, you think you're gonna make a really large pumpkin, but it, it, it doesn't end up that big. But if I can do this, anybody can do this because I don't sew. <laughs> okay. And I'll take a couple more little stitches here. Make sure it really gathers good. All right, now I'm going to get my polyfill stick it in here really well this makes the cutest little pumpkins that you can imagine totally customizable whatever size color Decor, the stamp you use determines a lot. I mean, it's totally up to you. All right, let's get this. Let's pull this. Really taut. Okay, now I'm gonna Pull it taut. I'm gonna go over here. This is probably not how you're supposed to do it. So you might not want to pay attention to me when it comes to this. <laughs> and then I'm going to go here and run it over here. And then I'm gonna take it, 
circle that's really nice and taut. Take it in here. Come up over here. I hope I'm staying in frame. I feel like I'm wrestling. I don't know what. Okay. Now, I'm going to take one more stitch. Knot it. Okay. Then I'm not through with this yet. We're gonna cut this off. He's so cute. Look at that, adorable. Okay. Now yesterday I took some clay, some just that air dry clay. It wasn't IOD. It was the Daz. And I formed a little pumpkin stem out of aluminum foil to give it some strength. And then I just formed it while it was still damp. I took this little Dollar Tree thing and just scratched in it. Now we're gonna paint it to try to give it a really good look. Now, if you wanted, you could take an, a real pumpkin stem. I had some, but I've lost them. You could take one of these again, put in there. Um, you could take some pumpkin stems off of some of them that you find at Walmart or Dollar Tree. They're really pretty. Uh, some of them are very pretty, okay? But I want to just take this, but I wanted to go ahead and um, do this so it would be dry enough to paint. And when you put those little areas in it, it just looks old and gnarly. So I love that. And you wouldn't have to, you know, put it around the foil if you didn't want to. You definitely could do it differently and just do it out of the foil. But I wanted something that I could um, give it a little bit more structure while I did it. And we're going to put several different collars on here. I'm gonna go dry this with a hair dryer and I'll be right back. Okay, and by the way, that was real brown apple barrel gloss paint that I use. Now I'm going in with metallic royal gold from Folk Art. Just gonna get a little bit of that. It's not gonna take much. Just kinda. in places. Adds a lot of dimension to it when you start adding all these other colors. Okay. All right, let me go dry that. Okay, now I'm going to take this black and just, I don't know if I even have any, kind of just Scruff it over here a little bit. Make it look like a... See how much dimension that's giving this? It's picking up all those grooves. The more you layer, just like decorating, the more you layer, the prettier I think things become. Okay? You don't want to turn it all dark. You just want to give, give it some character. Okay? So I like that. Then I think I might highlight it with just a little bit of white. We'll see. All right. I'm gonna use this other Dollar Tree brush. Cause it works pretty well as just like a little 
dimple brush. I just want to kind of make it look old. Okay. I like that. It has some texture. Okay, I like it. Okay, if you don't have a stem, this is a really easy way to make a very realistic looking stem, okay, for your pumpkin, all right? And I'm gonna try to, I needed this gathered more, but I don't know if the glue will work or not. I'm gonna glue this right down in the center of this and just hold it because I'm gonna put something around the edge. And you can see it's already adhered. Look how cute that is. It looks like something you would definitely see in a boutique, okay? So let me just hold this up with this skinny syrup. Okay, now I cut a piece of drop cloth to kind of hide that semi messy area where I'm not a really good sewer but it's supposed to look very old you know so I think it'll be fine and I'm not through with it at all yet we still have some things to do <laughs> and Maggie is barking at somebody I don't know who okay so we have that down here okay so i like that try to glue that up in there okay all right now what i want to do get some of this i bought this at hobby lobby for my um junk journals quite a while ago, and I think this will be really, really pretty. To add some of this, and something like that, maybe something brown. I think you always need something brown with this. Oh yeah, this is going to be pretty. Okay, so let me cut. Oh, we'll cut about that much off. And then we'll just put this right in here. And I could have put this on first, but I wanted a lot of layers. to make this like a farmhouse, French country pumpkin, even kind of shabby chic, just really adorable. Okay, I'm gonna cut some of this off. I think it's a little long. That's what we're getting so far. I love it, okay. Not through though, not through. So I think I'm gonna thread it through maybe this. I think that would look better than the other yeah i like that okay now if you wanted i don't think i'm going to but if you wanted you definitely could and i know it's hard to see one of these and put a sentiment like hello fall or um something and just have it hang off there or have something smaller like when i did this r right here i stamped with iod's um I used their letterpress stamp to make that R, but I think I want these to look a little different, so let's take a look at them. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. It really helps me out on YouTube. And if you're not already subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you subscribe and become a member of our family. And if you subscribe, hit that notification bell and set it to all so you won't miss an upload. So I really do love how Farmhouse Fridge Country 
those DIYs turned out. They're very simple to make and they're not expensive. You can use any stamps that you want off of Amazon, uh, Walmart, Hobby Lobby, anywhere. So, and I will link those uh, leaf stamps that I got off of Amazon in the description box. You get a big pack of stamps. So let me go get Maggie and let her say hi to you. Well, here is the baby as usual. Were you taking a nap? She says, yes, and I wanna go back. <laughs> Maggie, can you say hi to your friends? Can you say hi, hello? Say, I love you, yes I do. So, until next time, bye guys.